And what you really needed was a, a manager to, to look after things. And there was one right to hand in Liverpool. Yes, there was a, a fellow who had a record shop. His dad owned a record shop. And he'd been asked for a record that we'd made in Hamburg because we backed someone, a fellow called Tony Sheridan. It was called Tony Sheridan and the Beat Boys. They didn't like the name Beatles. And for the German market, they'd changed it to something a bit more obvious. So the only record was this one, My Bonnie, which a fellow went in and asked for it at Brian's record shop, and Brian hadn't heard of it. So he, he got interested in us, and somebody said, oh, they're just down the road at the cavern, you know. So he came in one day, looked at us, and apparently thought there was something there, you know, because we were all leather and sweat at that time. Yeah. He sort of cleaned up the act a little bit and said, well, you know, we've got to kind of try for London and stuff, so you're going to have to get suits, which no one was very keen to do, but we went that way. We and um, tidied you so up. So Brian was the fellow, yeah. And he got you auditions for record companies, which was the important thing. Yeah, everyone turned us down until he found George Martin.